Welcome to this short video with an idea for setting up a Zenio iZenTP ceiling sensor in a toilet to add some really useful automation to a really useful space. The Zenio iZenTP is a ceiling mounted KNX motion sensor and I shan't go into all the features and benefits here but it is worth mentioning that they come in both black and white and they're fairly low profile and they need only a 51mm cutout. The iZen however doesn't measure temperature like some other sensors, but does have a heartbeat function, which indicates that the device is still present on the bus, which is a fairly unique feature to Zenio. The sensor can be configured for constant brightness control and to perform a different function in day or night mode. And the iZen is also reasonable value, being neither the most or the least expensive on the market, whilst having a strong feature set. So here's the scenario. We want to go into a toilet and for the lights to turn on as we enter. We spend a short time there washing our hands, leave, and after a short while the lights turn off. However, if we stay for slightly longer, then let's have the lights dim down so that we know that we've stayed for a while, but we're not plunged into darkness, as I'm sure we've all had happen to us at some point in the past. Then, by moving slightly and so re-triggering the sensor, the lights will return to 100% and at that point the fan turns on, anticipating that having spent longer in the toilet, it might be needed. The fan will stay on for a while after we've left the room and the lights turn off. So let's go and have a look at how this is achieved in ETS. Here in ETS, we have a small project with an iZen, a dimming actuator and a relay actuator for the fan. There are a few representative group addresses. We don't have to worry about them here. In the iZen parameters, I've selected the presence detector and then in the configuration tab, enabled channels 1, 2 and 4. Channel 1 is set with a length of detection of 120 seconds. You can see that on the sending tab, the action on detection is to turn on. So if we walk into the room, the lights turn on full and after no detection, the output is set to send a value of 20%. This will send to the value object of the dimming actuator. Channel 2 is set with a detection length of 130 seconds, so 10 seconds longer than channel 1. Notice that there's no action on initial detection, but after 130 seconds, the lights are turned off. So the effect is that once the lights have dimmed to 20%, there is movement detected between 120 and 130 seconds. Channel one will once again turn the lights on. Otherwise, after 130 seconds, they'll turn off. And now for the trick. Channel four is configured for HVAC control with two of what are called observation windows, each of 120 seconds. What this means is that for the output to be sent and the fan to turn on, there must be movement in two consecutive periods of 120 seconds. So the first movement, which initially triggers the lights, starts the first 120 seconds. And if the sensor has been re-triggered after 120 seconds, the lights have been brought back up after being dimmed. Then output four will also send an on to the fan. The relay is set up as a pulse to run on for 10 minutes and then turn off rather than being turned off by the sensor. And it's as easy as that, a simple adjustment that adds one more simple function to the home's automation. And finally, thanks for watching this video. If you want to look more closely into the iZen, please go to one of the links below and take a look in the ivory egg shop. Thank you.